I need to loosen up a little bit. It's the holidays. 50% whiskey, 50% coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, Ben here from Huckberry and welcome back to a special edition of Ask Huckberry. We're doing a holiday edition. If you haven't bought your gifts, time to get on it, but fear not, that's why we're here. I am going to be answering your questions. We threw the back call out asking, having trouble choosing gifts, whether it's for someone on your list, thinking about something that you need this holiday season, I'm gonna answer them as best I can. And these aren't just my answers. We have an incredible team. This is the time I wanna give a shout out to our product team. They've been working hard all year long to find the coolest and best gifts for yourself and then anyone on your list. We don't call ourselves the one-stop men's shop just as a fancy tagline. Whether you need an outfit for your holiday party or the hardest to gift for on your list, we're here to help. Time is ticking, so let's go. Let's answer the first question that was sent to us. Whether you got a long list of people you gotta buy for, or you're just keeping it more conservative this year, that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice the quality, the cool, the surprise and delight. We have got an amazing shop of gifts under 50. These are bestsellers. These are what gifts other people have recommended. We've heard great things. So first, avocado base. This is actually one, looks really cool when it's growing on your counter, but you get to grow your own avocados. This thing's awesome. So DIY, a little garden in your kitchen, avocado vase, highly, highly recommend. All right, another really fun one, the DIY knife kit from Cricut. This is fully assembled, but when you get it, part of the fun is you actually get to make this yourself. You got someone younger on your list, this is a great gift getting them into knife safety, but it's just fun to make. And we all love to build stuff on Christmas morning. Another really fun one, and this has been a bestseller for a couple of seasons. This is the DIY lock training kit. I would not recommend using this to learn how to rob someone, but it's fun to play with. Functionally, you lock yourself out of your house, you lock your bike and lose the key at a bike rack. This is a really fun way to sort of learn the techniques and really understand how one of these locks works. So great for the tinker on your list. Do not use it to steal. Another really fun one, and this is a very popular one from our vice shop, this is the stash light. This thing is waterproof, it's smell proof, it's crush proof, looks a lot sleeker than maybe some of the other things that you've stuffed, whatever you're smoking into your pocket. It's also got a built-in lighter, so your best bud. Another bestseller that is probably the easiest gift, especially given the season, a good beanie. We've got our best-selling merino ribbed, it's kind of a classic fisherman inspired beanie. And then new this year, we've got this made in USA watch cap. A little bit different of a style, a little more vintage inspired. Both are awesome. Both are great price points. I buy 10 beanies every holiday season and they're that gift that I keep in the back of my car where, oh shoot, I'm going to a holiday party, forgot to gift something to someone. We got a bunch of different colors. It's one of the easiest, most universally used gifts that you could get. All right, moving down the list, we got another great question. A good piece of apparel, a good pair of shoes during holidays, personally speaking, is one of the, my favorite things to get because when you get it right, it's the thing you're actually gonna be using, wearing most for the rest of the year going forward. You don't need a whole new wardrobe, you just need those key pieces that you can build everything else around. Here are a couple of my picks. First, you've heard this product a lot and for very good reason, it is the epitome of bang for your buck. There's a reason why we named the 365 pant, the 365 pant from Flint and Tinder. This is that classic chino silhouette, but in a five pocket construction, so it's a little more casual. It's got stretch, just enough, so it's really, really comfortable. You can dress these up, you can dress these down. Many of us, these are the only pants that we're wearing, I wouldn't say 365 days a year, but they certainly get the lion's share of what we're grabbing for in the closet. 365 pant, one of the best bang for your buck. Another great classic silhouette that's one, very appropriate for the season, but it's also something that he should have in his closet and he can wear, again, in a variety of styles, in a variety of settings, is a good sweater. We actually got a question and I'm gonna answer two questions in one. This is the well and recycled wool. Wool being very versatile, as we know, temperature regulating, great for obviously the colder months, but this will transition really well as you go into spring. It's got this very subtle, but interesting sort of diamond knit to it. So it's not something that's super in your face. It's incredibly wearable still. It's inspired by old vintage sweaters. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've just modernized it in the fit and some of the construction. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. This sweater looks awesome with a pair of beat up jeans and sneakers, but but you're going to a holiday party, you wanna wear it with 365 pants and a good pair of chuckas, it's gonna play really well there too. 
So we've got a variety to choose from if this color, this pattern isn't your husband's style, but I would start with a great three season sweater. Can't go wrong with that. He's gonna wear it a lot. Moving sort of up and layering on top of this, you need a really good jacket. Something that can flex again between maybe it's a holiday party, maybe they're going into the office, but also something that's just really good and classic on the weekend going out on date night. I am wearing the Rowan Unstructured Trap Blazer. This is a really fun seasonal pattern. You can see I'm wearing it dressed down. I've got a hoodie underneath and obviously one of our beanies. Shout out to our Smart Casual page. But this is also something that looks amazing with an Oxford. And again, 365 pants. So unstructured blazer, a really good wearable sweater, and a pair of 365 pants. Start there and then see where you can build. Hopefully that helps. Send us some pictures of your husband looking fresh in his new look. Let's move on to the next question. for those of you that need the reminder, Funkle, fun uncle. So something that's playful, that's fun. This has been a bestseller for, I don't know how many years at Huckberry, but it never gets old. It's the marshmallow crossbow. These are handcrafted in Vancouver. These are incredibly well-made. This is going to be a gift. It's gonna get a lot of play, especially during the holiday seasons. It can shoot marshmallows up to 60 feet in the air, but you gotta be careful. Don't wanna shoot your eye out, Christmas story style. But this is a much more PG version of a Red Rider gun, right? And you can eat the ammo. Tis the season, marshmallow crossbow. If you're not already the favorite uncle, you may be the fun uncle. This will quickly graduate you into the favorite uncle. Oh, bullseye! Gear Lab at its finest. Couple other quick recommendations if you've already gifted the marshmallow crossbow. We've got the DIY flying kit. You can take a wood plane and then you create this motorized Bluetooth enabled way to fly it. It's pretty awesome, so that's one. And then we've got these amazing handcrafted wooden adventure mobiles from Candy Lab. There's one called the Drifter that I gave my daughter. It's awesome, they look really cool, but they're really well made. So a great toy car, but made a little bit better. Can't go wrong with either one of those. You wanna look put together and festive, but you also don't wanna look stuffy and black tie necessarily. So how do you sort of find that tension between looking put together, but also having a little bit of fun? It's the holidays, right? So I think about those classic silhouettes that are rooted in dressing up, looking put together, but what are some of those ways to bring a little bit more personality? I think about prints, colors, and textures, right? So start with the classics, and then find the twist. Couple cardigans that I've been eyeing that I'm actually considering wearing to my holiday party. You've got this really fun one from Shot. Shot, legendary American craftsmanship. This is obviously a very festive, fun, but wearable red. So bring in that holiday spirit into the style, into the color. This is gonna pop. Love a good bright cardigan. And then also think about again, those sort of tensions, those textures, those personalities. You got color here, and then you've got some great fun texture in this Flint and Tinder Fair Isle style. It's that old school grandpa style sweater. It's not too festive, but it's certainly festive enough. It's got dude vibes over and over, but these look awesome when you put them over like, let's say a white button down or a sort of light blue Oxford. I'm replacing my blazers. I'm rocking a fun festive cardigan. Taking that same sort of approach to the pant, this this is the Relwyn Corduroy Supply Pant. I've got a pair of these. I love these. They've got just the right amount of stretch. This looks awesome with either one of these. And again, you can kind of visualize. You put a button down, you wear these pants, and then you put a cardigan on top. You're looking put together, but it's got a little bit more personality. These are the Ashby loafers from Rhodes. And I love a good classic loafer, but the twist here is the sole. So it's got this more rugged, not too in your face, but certainly different. It's a Vibram lug sole. So it not only looks cool in my opinion, but it's also got some very practical functionality when you think about the time of year. Lug sole provides a little bit more grip on a wet snowy surface. So the combination of style and function, I really love these. And I think that's the general sentiment to this entire look. It's got style, it looks put together, but these are things that you can wear beyond on just the holiday party, depending on how you break them apart and what else is in your wardrobe. So have fun at that holiday party. Don't get too drunk, but happy holidays. You're gonna be looking fresh. Next question. And there's a mole on our Instagram. My wife loves Huckberry, loves what I do, but she does not watch any of my videos because she sees enough of me. So I'm gonna tell you what she's getting. One, 
We've got two little kids that probably referenced on other gear labs. We've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old, so we're always taking pictures. A lot of them on our phone, it's great. We're texting grandparents, that's all good. But there's something very nostalgic when you're capturing something on film. This Lomo Insta camera is awesome. You get bigger pictures than a traditional instant camera. Better for framing, better for taking over the fridge. You can play with the actual lenses. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. It's gonna provide even more creativity in whatever you're capturing. I love this thing. My wife's gonna love it. Our kids are gonna love to play with this. Capturing memories. She's getting this, but it's gonna be a gift for all of us, really. I'm gonna put this on our fridge. Also, I'm not giving her a pair of used boots, but when you give a pair of Red Wings, for example, this is actually what you're getting. You're getting something that you're gonna wear for many years to come. We literally took these boots off our producer's feet. She's had these for many, many years, as you can see by this amazing patina. So if you want a little bit of styling advice, I'm not the guy to ask, but if you go to our employee boot roundup, shout out to another gear lab, Grace, one of our Huckberry house brand merchants, gives some great point of view from her perspective on how to bring some personality and style to this boot. Don't ruin the surprise. These are two of my gift picks. Eliza, if you do watch this, you got some other things coming, don't worry. This is the grail gift. So if you're looking for something very special, it's the one gift you're gonna give someone. This is the Huckberry Times Zodiac Titanium Dive Watch. So uh, it's a beautiful classic watch. It is Swiss made. They are the best at watchmaking. So you know quality when you know it's made in Switzerland. Zodiac has been trusted for a very long time. We've been lucky to drop a couple of different collabs with them over the last few years. This watch, it's actually their 70th anniversary of this style. And this year's iteration comes with this titanium case. So titanium obviously being incredibly lightweight, incredibly durable. I also love the dark navy dial. It comes with this cool Velcro strap and it's just a very classic look. It can dress up, it can dress down, but foundationally this is an iconic dive watch for a reason. It's meant to be worn, meant to go on adventures. This latest iteration is certainly one of my favorites. If you're looking for something on the other end of the price spectrum, I really love the James brand Timex collab watch that we've got on our site. Super fun and sporty, great color pop. It's under a hundred bucks, depending on who you're shopping for, whatever their watch style is, obviously budget considerations. You got the Zodiac on the grail side, and then you've got the really fun everyday James brand Timex. And then, Bourbon, my go-to is High West. They've got this amazing distillery in the mountains of Utah outside of Park City. I've gotten to know them. I've got to go to the distillery. We've actually spent some time with their master distiller. You can check out some old videos from previous holidays. They make some of the best whiskeys and bourbons out there. This is their classic bourbon. This is under 40 bucks. Comes in this gray bottle. One of my personal favorites, sort of the easy drinkable, easy to gift. I really like the Rendezvous Rye. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's around $80, that special occasion. And we've got a really fun collab Whiskey Peak set with High West. So we've got a couple of the glasses sold on the site. Shout out to High West, one of my favorite bourbons. And of course, if you're gonna be drinking whiskey, check out Whiskey Peaks, whether it's our collab glasses, or we've got a variety of other iconic mountains on Huck Bear right now. They're amazing gift sets, perfectly paired with a bottle of whiskey. So those are the big questions. I'm gonna pour a little whiskey and uh, we're gonna do a little rapid fire. Hit me. Hands down, Home Alone 2. It's like, I know sequels are often controversial and can never be better than the first. Home Alone 2, New York City, around the holidays, Home Alone 2, 100%. Best gift I ever received. This is gonna be pretty telling and probably not surprising for any of you that follow Gear Lab and hear how much I enjoy collecting shoes. When I was 11 or 12 years old, so sort of prime getting into middle school, I was in the middle of basketball season. I had these old ugly basketball shoes that I hated. Everyone else on the team had cooler shoes. And then on Christmas morning, I got the Penny Hardaway ones. Made my Christmas. I still get warm and fuzzies when I think about that. I actually answered this last year on an Ask Huckberry. My mom gave me a saddle when I was 10 years old and no horse. It was just a saddle. It's still a beautiful piece of decoration in her living room, but as a 10 year old, when you get a saddle, you're expecting a horse, but you're just getting a saddle. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty hard, I won't lie. I was always post Thanksgiving. Like you could not put up Christmas lights. You could not get a Christmas tree until at least after Thanksgiving. That has completely changed. One, I don't really like Halloween and I wanna get those decorations out the door as soon as possible. Call me a Grinch. But also, like, these kids, they get so into it and it's so fun and you just feed off that energy. After 
Halloween, get rid of the pumpkins, get rid of all the ghosts and goblins, put your holiday lights up, get festive, earlier the better. It's actually a holiday dish we have every Christmas Eve, it's called Lobster Newberg, and it's big chunks of lobster meat in sort of this cream sauce, and then you put it over white rice. It's amazing. Lobster Newberg, my favorite holiday tradition, every single one. It's not an album, but it's the only song that you need to put on repeat, and I will stand by this year after year. Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You is the greatest Christmas song of all time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Can we cue that in, or is there copyright issues? Like, do you want me to sing it? So there you have it. Ask Huckberry Holiday Edition. Thank you for submitting those questions. We want Ask Huckberry to be helpful to you. We want to answer your questions. In this particular case, helping you choose the right gift this holiday season. But always, Gear Lab is for you guys. So make sure you continue to hit us up in the DMs, send us emails, drop comments in this particular video. We want to help you figure out whatever you need. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Happy holidays from us at Huckberry. Go listen to Mariah Carey, get a marshmallow crossbow. Let's go.